How's it going guys, Joshua LaFemme here live in LA and I have another tutorial, kind of a short tutorial that I want to show you. This is kind of going over things that I have to deal with on a daily basis regarding, you know, when I'm making tutorials for all of you guys. I'm going to be talking about safe margins. Safe margins are very helpful and I really, really hope that you guys have been using them on a daily basis anytime you incorporate text in your videos. I'm going to show you first how to turn on safe margins. You're in um, Adobe Premiere. You go and click on the, the the little handle or the little tool wrench in the bottom right corner of the program window. And then you're going to go to safe margins, safe margins, or you can call them title safe margins or action safe margins have been around for a while. They kind of harken back to the old broadcast TV days when you'd have these televisions that would actually crop your image. And so you'd have to make sure that you place your titles or your text in places that you know that the image would not be cropped. So the first margin right here, the first square is called the title safe margin. You'd want to basically make sure that any titles that you have would be inside this margin so that it wouldn't get cropped. The second line, um, the second box is called the action safe margin. And that, this just means you want to make sure that the action the main action that's happening within your scene is happening within this action safe margin to make sure that it does not get cropped. Another thing that you have is you have these midpoints. These midpoints are very useful in just making sure that your titles are being placed in the middle. So we're going to use this example, Olufemi Presents. I knew that I wanted this text to be right in the middle, so I used these midpoints to help me line up exactly where the middle was, whether it be um, lengthwise or widthwise, and they were pretty helpful. Here's another example of where I used safe margins to line stuff up, the, and this isn't even text. I knew that I wanted two boxes that were of equal length, and I knew that in order to do that, they needed to meet up in the middle. So what I did was I adjusted the length of the first box, and I made sure that the length was big enough so that this edge would hit approximately right in the middle. And then I knew if I just copied those settings for this other box that I would have two boxes of equal size that would meet right in the middle. All right, we have another example right here, WizKid Come Closer. I wanna tell you guys that for internet-based videos that are not gonna be um, broadcasted on a normal television, I usually give myself two options. I could either follow the rules and keep all my text within the title safe area, but to be honest, if I have text that's a little bit longer, I do not mind lining it up within the action safe area. I feel like for internet based videos that are going to be displayed mainly on YouTube, you won't really have a lot of cropping issues. So I still maintain that I want my text to be within these safe margins, but I can compromise and instead of having it just within the title safe area, I can extend it so that the text can be, as long as it's within the action safe area, I should be good. The reason I do that is I feel like we have a little bit of a historical precedence happening where even though we don't have as much cropping as we do in the past, we still have grown accustomed to having text to be placed a certain distance away from the edge of the border or else it just looks weird. I want to give you an example. I'm going to actually place this text outside of the action safe area. I'm going to turn the safe margins off and I want you to just see how weird that is. It looks kind of unprofessional. It looks unbalanced. And so you see like this just looks weird. It looks too close. So if I were to place it within, you know, the action safe area, you can see how um, just more clean cut and more professional looks. So that's just interesting. I hope you use this safe margin feature in Premiere every day. It's very useful. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please make sure to like and share this short video if it was helpful. Remember that you can always get a free month of Envato Elements just by clicking on the link below in the description. I got two more videos for you to watch. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And please remember to keep it chill.